How many of you guys um, do hand stripping in your shop now? Good. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I like to do the hand stripping rather than clipping on my terriers or even, even my sporting dogs because it actually it keeps their coat in better condition and it keeps their skin in better condition. So what we're going to start out with her is um, we're, she has one layer of coat that can come off of her. Ideally, you want to do your hand strip dogs between every two weeks and once a month to keep them in a good condition coat. If it was a show dog, you would want to do them every four to seven days, depending on that dog's coat and how fast it grows. And there's three, three stages. You can either stage a coat, which is you would pull sections at different times during a week interval. There's rotating the coat, and that's when you would do every two weeks to every month. And then you have a blown coat, which is when everything has to come off and they have to be down to their skeevies. And some clients don't understand this. They tell you that they want coat left. But if that coat is blown, there is nothing you can do but to take all that coat out of there. And that's when you need to educate your clients that that dog needs to be stripped out more often in order to build layers of coat. Ideally, you would like to have at least three layers of coat on your hand strip dogs so that every time they come in, you're pulling off a dead layer, another one is growing underneath, and you're baking layers. Now, eventually, that, that whole coat will be blown, and you will have to start over. But again, it depends on that dog. There are a couple of breeds that you could get by with doing two times a year that will still grow an undercoat. That's an Irish Terrier and a Border Terrier. Sometimes they, they have an excellent coat to be able to strip out twice a year. It's harder on you, the groomer, because it's taking you longer, but it can be done. There's many different tools out there for hand stripping. If you're going to get really get into hand stripping, go around and pick up knives. Make sure they're comfortable in your hand because if not, you're not going to want to use them or you're going to use them improperly because you need to turn them into your hand so that it makes your hand comfortable. What I like to do on my hand strip dogs is I always like to work on a dirty coat. Dirtier the coat, the easier the hair is to grab. But since her coat is clean, I'm going to take like a rosin chalk and I'm going to put that all over her coat. And you can also use ear powder because it has a resin in it and it helps grab the hair. Or you can use just actual terrier chalk. Now, if, you, if some of you are uncomfortable using a stripping knife itself, you can go to the store and you can buy a pumice stone on the stick. Dr. Scholl makes it, CVS Pharmacy makes one, a couple of other companies make it. And it actually works very well as a stripping knife, but it does not cut the coat. A new stripping knife is going to be very sharp. You need to dull it out. You need to set it in a bag of quick stop, take a little bit of quick stop, wet down the blade of your, your stripping knife, wipe it off so it's not dripping wet, and let it soak in there for a few days. And that'll take off that sharp edge. Because if you have a sharp edge, you're more apt to cut the coat and you're not going to pull it out from the root. I have a couple of my favorite knives are the Hopners, which is a German knife. And this one has little teeth in it to help me pull the coat. I don't know if you can see it real well. But you guys can come up afterwards as well. And what I like to do is I like to start at the back end of my dog and work my way forward. And when I pull, I'm going to pull at a 45 degree angle and I'm going to pull straight towards me. And I want to make sure I get the hair bulb at the end of the, my root so that I know that I have it right from the root. And I'm just going to pull my skin tight because if I don't pull my skin tight, it's going to roll up into my knife and I'm going to cut the dog. 
and uh, one of the teeth will go right into a dog's skin and kind of rip it open. So you have to be careful with that. But like I said, if you're just starting out, these little knife pumice stones make the best stripping tool until you get the, the hang of it. You can also use little finger uh, guards, you know, to, to count cash out and stuff, or even latex gloves. I don't like to use latex gloves personally. My hands sweat to death, and I don't like how that feels, but you can use them. So I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to pull out all that dead coat. 